Vietnam has had enough of Chinese aggression and now it has turned to India for help. The communist state under its ruler Xi Jinping knows no boundaries when it comes to his thirst for expansionism. Beijing is now making fluttering splashes in the sovereign waters of Vietnam and the Southeast Asian country has now turned to India to help it wade through the menace of China. According to a report in Times of India, Vietnam's ambassador to India, Pham San Cho, met Indian Foreign Secretary Harsh Shringla and briefed him about the deteriorating security situation in the South China Sea and asked for help from the Indian counterparts. Although it was described as a routine diplomatic visit, but reading through the lines, one can easily decipher that Hanoi wants New Delhi's help desperately. The reason Vietnam had to turn to India is that China deployed its H-6J bomber earlier this month in the Woody Island, the largest of the disputed Paracel Islands. The Chinese Communist Party's mouthpiece termed the movement of the PLA troops to the region as a move to suppress the increasing US military activities in the region. The Paracel Islands lie over 180 kilometers away from the closest Chinese territory, and yet China claims the islands as its own. Since the 1st of July, China's military is conducting aggressive exercises in and around these islands and has cautioned all parties, saying that during the period of the exercise, no vessel shall be allowed to navigate in the large training area and all vessels have to follow the guidance of the commanding ship on site. The Parasol Islands are rightfully claimed by Vietnam and they are naturally furious with China's aggressive posturing. Vietnam said that China's misadventures didn't just violate its sovereignty but also jeopardized the situation in the area. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo had ruffled some feathers when he in June had announced that American troops were being taken out of Germany to station in the South China Sea to nip in the bud any threat of the nefarious Communist Party of China. US warships have been present in the region and China is on its toes. For a long-term solution, Vietnam has sought a greater role for India in exploring oil and gas blocks off its coast in the South China Sea despite an opposition from China saying that the area falls in its exclusive economic zone. If India indeed takes up this proposal, then the authoritarian regime of Xi Jinping will be jolted by a huge blow. The sole reason China undertakes such encroachment drives in the South China Sea is because of its rich hydrocarbon-laden seabed. China has overexploited the resources in its own country and now wants to gobble up the other country's natural resources. While Vietnam has turned towards India to drag it out of the mess that China has created in the region, the Philippines, another country in the vicinity of the Paracel Islands, has assumed a much firmer stance. Earlier, Teodoro Loksin, the Foreign Secretary of the Philippines, had issued a warning to Beijing when he released a statement that read, should the exercises spill over to Philippine territory, then China is forewarned that it will be met with the severest response, diplomatic and whatever else is appropriate. The Philippines had earlier won a case in the International Tribunal against China's claim on the South China Sea, but the rogue state of China has refused to accept the order and continues to occupy and have its way in the South China Sea. Late last month, in the 36th ASEAN summit held in Hanoi, the leaders of Vietnam and the Philippines had sent a tough message against the bullying behavior of China. They argued that some rogue nations, which do not abide by international rules, had increased activity in the South China Sea. China's aggression in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands region is also palpable because India, along with Japan, Australia and the US, is tightening the noose around its hegemony in the Indo-Pacific. India has signed a mutual logistics support agreement under which both countries can use each other's military bases for much efficient patrolling of the Indo-Pacific region. The recent naval exercise by the Quad in the region had further sent shudders across the Politburo of Beijing. To further pile on China's misery, India has started militarizing the strategically important Andaman and Nicobar Islands in the Bay of Bengal to create a choke point for China which is eyeing the Strait of Malacca with deceitful intentions. 
The union government has provided rupees 5,650 crores to develop military infrastructure in the region. As a result, two naval air stations are reportedly having their runways extended. Prime Minister Narendra Modi took the plans of militarizing a notch above when he announced that India is considering to invest rupees 10,000 crore for building a transshipment port in the Great Nicobar Islands. Militarizing Andaman and the Nicobar Islands has also sent a stern message to China that if it tries to move through the northwest of the Strait of Malacca, then New Delhi will be tracking its every single step. 80% of China's oil supplies pass through the South China Sea via the Strait of Malacca, and growing Indian presence in its very close proximity can easily hamper China's hydrocarbon supply from the Middle East, bringing the Middle Kingdom to its knees. Vietnam has seen how India has handled China on the line of actual control and previously in Doklam, and consequently it had no iota of doubt when it turned to New Delhi to bail it out.